finding the inverse transformation we will discuss in this video how to find the inverse transformation from given set of linear equations you are given with an equation set of equations y1 is 0.5 y x1 minus 0.5 x2 and y2 is 1.5 x1 minus 2.5 x2 you can write here from here a matrix 0.5 minus 0.5 1.5 and minus 2.5 and you can write matrix x as x1 x2 and you can write the matrix y as y1 and y2 from this this system of equation you can write the simple transformation f of x1 x2 what it is it is x for x1 you have 0.5 x1 minus 0.5 x2 comma 1.5 x1 minus 2.5 x2 this is your general transformation on x1 x2 basically we have to find the inverse transformation we have to find f inverse so how we will find the f inverse that will be the inverse of a matrix times y matrix so let's first find the a inverse you know very well how to find the inverse of a 2 cross 2 matrix first of all find its determinant how to find the determinant multiply the elements of the main diagonal minus this secondary diagonal 0.5 multiplied by minus 2.5 then always minus sign then 1.5 times minus 0.5 so you got minus 0.5 multi now find the adjoint of a adjoint is you change the place of the main diagonal elements like this and change the sign of the secondary diagonal this is minus so it will be plus this is plus so it will be minus now so a inverse will be adjoint of a over a determinant so you just divide your adjoint elements with your a determinant that's minus 0.5 now f inverse is a inverse times y matrix so we are multiplying them 5 times y1 minus 1 times y2 comma 3 times y1 minus 1 times y2 so this is your inverse transformation and how we write it this is your first component so x1 is 5 y1 minus y2 this is your second component so x2 is 3 y1 minus y2 so this is the way how to find the inverse transformation now come on to the euclidean norm how we find the euclidean norm of this given vector this is 3 1 minus 4 transpose so first let's take its transpose this row will be converted into this column and norm will be what this is the symbol of norm write the square root and take the squares of these 3 square plus 1 square plus minus 4 square so this is your Euclidean norm now you will be able to practice problem set 7.9 and up till now we are done with the seventh chapter of uh, advanced engineering mathematics by Erwin Krasik. So after this chapter we will move on to the differential equations.